Kiora. I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, we're into the fourth quarter now, and it is starting out modestly in most places, despite an eye-popping rise in the Shanghai Stock Exchange yesterday. First in the US, the Chicago PMI improved marginally in September, although the gain was probably insignificant. Meanwhile, the Dallas Fed factory survey for the US oil patch in September eased further, although again, not a significant change. But in October, this may all be affected by a looming East Coast and Gulf waterfront strike. And there is a similar strike action underway in Canada. Workers are reacting to productivity changes from a new automation push. And China's National Day Golden Week holiday period starts today, kicking off one of the world's busiest travel periods as the country marks the 75th anniversary of its founding as a communist state. But their tourism industry is bracing for sluggish activity, with bookings down 20%, even as regional governments begin to distribute cash vouchers to boost flagging consumer spending. It is not only discretionary travel that is soft, the official Chinese factory PMI contracted at a lesser pace in September, and the companion Kaijin factory PMI slipped from a minor expansion to a minor contraction. Further, the official services PMI expansion ended in September with their lowest reading since December 2022. But not everyone is looking ahead with trepidation there. Investors in Shanghai drove their equity markets up a remarkable 8.1% yesterday after that exchange touched its lowest level in a decade on September the 13th, it has now suddenly shot up to its highest since April 2023. It's all about how Beijing is rolling out its stimulus, essentially guaranteeing investors that they won't lose. That's the Beijing put. And that, those, those investors are all in, filling their boots. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now just on 3.78% and up two basis points from yesterday. And the price of gold will start today at $2,638 an ounce and down $20 from yesterday. Oil prices are up 50 US cents at 68.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is now just on $72 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 63.7 US cents and up 30 basis points from this time yesterday. Against the Aussie, though, we're unchanged at 91.8 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we're also up 30 basis points at 57.1 Euro cents. That all means our trade weight index starts today at just under 70.9 and up 30 basis points from yesterday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.